Welcome to the farmhouse. Yay! These puffin pigs are so fluffy and fun. <laughs> Let's show you how to make one. You will need a fork, some pink wool, a pipe cleaner, a pair of scissors, glue, a pair of stick-on eyes, and a small pom-pom for the nose, pink paper or card. First, take your fork and the end of your ball of wool. Thread it through the fork, like so, and then hold down the end with your thumb. Then with your other hand, wind the wool around the prongs of the fork. This is making me hungry. Maybe I'll have spaghetti for my tea. Nom, nom, nom. Sounds delicious. Can we go back to the pom pom pigs? Now, we take this end here and snip it off. You need quite a bit of wool because this is going to be the other half of the loop, which you tie onto your rucksack. Now, loop the end around and through the prongs again. Down the other end to thread through the prongs at the bottom of the spool. It's quite tricky, so you might need some help. Sometimes the wool frays a little, but if you twist it with your fingers, through it goes. Now you have your two ends like so. You need to pull them together and tie them really tightly because this is what holds your pom-pom pig together. You might need someone else to put a finger on to hold the knot. Let's tie that in. Lovely and tight. Now you're able to slide it off the fork. Now you have your half-made pig. Next, take the pipe cleaner, and this is going to be the pig's tail. Right, so now we have the half-made pig we're going to put on the tail. It's going to be wrapped around the same knot you've already made. It just wraps around the center, like so. And then just tie it off by twisting it round. And we don't want a massive tail, so I'm going to snip the end off here. Then you take the tail like this and you wind it round just to make it a little bit curly, like that. So now we have the pig, pig's tail, and the two ends to tie the pig onto your rucksack. For this next bit, we're going to use a pair of scissors. So if you need some help, then please ask someone. Now, take the scissors and cut through the loops. Be very careful when you do this, because you can see my fingers are very close to the scissors. Halfway done. Go around the other side. Now, just fluff it up. Or you can just roll it in your hands. And there we have the fluffy pig. When are you ready? So now what we need to do is to put on the eyes, the nose, and the ears. So we're going to glue the eyes, nose, and ears on. This is just ordinary non-toxic PVA glue. Just take the top off and just put a splurge there. Don't worry if you think you've got too much on there. It will dry very nicely. Pop it on. There we are. Then the other eye. And now the nose. I'm choosing yellow, but you can choose whatever color you like. The face is really starting to appear. Now we need the ears. So I've cut the pink card into strips. Take the end of the strip here and cut it in an angle, like so. And now from there, you just cut triangular shapes. 
There you are, you've got our ears. Put the glue on the edge that you're going to attach. That's the right ear. Then the left ear. And now we can leave our pig to dry. <laughs> that was quick. Now you can tie your pom pom pig to your rucksack. That's like this. That looks wonderful. <laughs>